all right hello hello everyone who's watching that video what you can see here is an obd2 bluetooth adapter uh, you may have seen this you may have uh, searched for this online or in store and you're not sure what this is and uh, how can you use it so in this video i will show you exactly what this obd2 bluetooth adapter is and how this can be used uh, with android phone in that in that particular case there are a lot of uh, types a lot of uh, models of this adapter i will show you that one this car is bmw bmw e46 and uh, the obd2 um, uh, adapter should be plugged in just uh, here below the steering wheel i don't know how well you you had seen that but uh, it's there already so now we need an android phone there are some uh, obd2 adapters that work with ios some others that work with android or both this particular one works only with android so there are a lot of uh, apps you can use to connect with your car and see live data i will start now with obd car doctor pro that particular one here it asks if i want to enable gps uh, this is because this particular app has the feature to uh, track you uh, while you're driving and then show you on uh, interactive map uh, your road and uh, your uh, fuel consumption and speed and so on so i didn't uh, i just uh, selected to uh, disable the gps at the moment location service now let's start with the general information here i can see details about my car you can see bmw e46 and i can see the voltage of of the of the battery here 13.5 uh, and some other details uh, particularly this section is not that interesting and that useful so let's go back and see some current data in that current data tab we can see the live data that comes from the car and you can scroll up and down and see a quite a, a big variety of data for example the battery voltage here you can see it as a number or uh, in this way as uh, uh, you, you had seen other things you can see is the MAFR flow rate this is the uh, grams of uh, something per, se per second that go through the car and uh, you can see a chart a historical chart here below or uh, you can see it in a different way what else you can find some information about the uh, rpm engine rpm uh, of your car that's also live data you see it matches what's shown uh, on, on board um, you can see some information about uh, uh, the fuel consumption here you can see uh, gallons per 100 miles uh, that one was not available the car is started in the moment it works and the consumption is 0.4 gallons per hundred miles uh, this is recalculated for a car that's stalled that uh, doesn't move and you can see uh, when I uh, push the throttle that changes up to nearly one gallon uh, or two gallons per uh, hundred miles this can be changed to liters per hundred kilometers if you want and uh, any other options can be can be adapted um, what else you can see uh, widgets uh, you can add different widgets for example the uh, O2 the oxygen uh, data of the oxygen that the car uses can be shown from here um, or uh, any other widgets you want to combine you can also do that uh, yeah, I will show you later how, how this works uh, quite a wide variety of consumption information here uh, you can see that per uh, specific time interval and uh, it's very very flexible and this can accommodate I, I believe anything you may need to, to read as live data from your car uh, that one doesn't work uh, maybe my the, of course the computer of my car needs to support the particular feature I would like to, to use and uh, yeah you can have a walk around and see the different data the throttle position in uh, uh, percent up to 10 so 10 equals 100 you had seen how this changes um, so that's it i will go back and uh, i will disconnect from here and we'll show you another app first you need to disconnect from any other app that uses the adapter before starting another one you cannot use it on two apps together without disconnecting it from the first one 
so this is another app I am starting now and uh, I'm waiting for it to connect to the car let's see how this will work but uh, by the time this is connecting I will just uh, take you around and show you what we can see here this is something that uh, can be rearranged on different screens so according to your particular need if you want to see the uh, RPM uh, of the engine or your speed or any other oxygen information um, the voltage of your uh, battery anything basically you need the the total tripping kilometers fuel consumption you can uh, rearrange this or you can add new new screens you see for example uh, I want to add uh, the temperature here in, in uh, like a graph and I can move it around uh, and uh, see how this how this works this is live data you can see the top connected to ECU ok that means that the uh, adapter is connected to the car that's the load uh, of the engine in percent uh, when I push the throttle you, you had seen that changing uh, you can uh, walk around the different screens something else that's interesting is that HUD uh, feature so uh, when you enable it I will show you how it works but I will find a screen that has less data less uh, details so you just enable that and maybe that's because of the screen rotation and uh, it's pretty uh, outside it's still sunny and I'm not sure how you can see that but I uh, pull the brightness up so that's the HUD feature you can see on your uh, on your uh, windshield that the live data is being projected this works uh, amazingly well uh, during the night but uh, now you can also see and maybe imagine how this how this works um, right let's see what what else I can show you from here um, I think from here you can yeah you first uh, disable that HUD feature and I will show you that you can read your uh, codes fault codes of your car live from that app without any wires without any cables or computers you can see the worked faults I think I don't have any but let's see yeah no codes and you can also see the pending ones I think I have two pending here so they should show up now together with their uh, title and I will show you now yeah when you click on one of these and one of these codes when you uh, tap on uh, one of these you can see uh, the short description and if you want you can I will show you again now you can go to a web page that uh, contains all the information that you may need uh, including how to fix it but uh, yeah you can click on uh, you can tap on web and uh, go to, to that website with more details so uh, that's it basically that works with Android phone mm, as I said um, this is very nice very easy to be used and you can use it on the go uh, <coughs> sorry you can clear fault codes or you can see live data uh, in case your car doesn't have onboard computer or uh, you just need to see something that's not shown on, on your onboard computer and finally this is BMW E46 as I said but this can be used on a wide variety of uh, cars they just need to have this OBD2 uh, port where to put the adapter and you can use it on pretty much any uh, any car nowadays that's on the road thanks for watching please subscribe and give me a like and ask any questions if you have any ideas for future videos thanks and bye bye